we are the Elson family, Joe, Tegan and Oliver. We'll be travelling across Oman, visiting magical cities, the desert and adventuring through a wadi. Welcome to Oman part 4. We're going to be exploring the incredible Wadi Shab. We'll have to hike, wade and swim through fresh water to reach the end which has a beautiful waterfall in a cave. Will we all make it? And can you do this with a three year old? Let's find out. We are staying at Wadi Shab Beach Villa, which is located right near Wadi Shab. So we can get up first thing in the morning and walk there over. There is little bunnies. How do little bunnies get in there? <laughs> Maybe they go underwater and they save their breath and go hop out. Oh, that's a good idea. Oh, that's so clean. We forgot our wallet. Thank you, Shokran. More water. I've got two lots in my backpack. <laughs> also, when you go there for a minute in the ride, there's fridge. Cold water, you can make it water, it's fresh filled. Oh, right, yeah. okay. Because you needed cool. water inside, nothing there. Uh, okay, cool, thank you. Please welcome. Oh, this way? Yeah. From here, from here. Around here, cool, thank you. Welcome. So we have stupidly forgot to bring our wallet and we're staying at the top and the guy has kindly said that we can run back and get money when we're back. So, woo, let's hop on this place. Shukran. Shukran. <laughs> wow. <laughs> cool. Ooh. Chuck them. <laughs> ah. Wow, Ollie. We're going Ready? on a boat. Oh, there's an engine right there. <laughs> wow, this is incredible. Wow. <laughs> hey, so you get here that little bit early. I was secretly dying inside this morning at 5.30 when Ollie woke up and Joe was like, let's get up. And I was like, no. But hey, it's, it is worth it. Wadi Shab is located about two hours away from Oman, or 40 minutes from Sur. There are lots of day tours you can do from both cities, or you can do it on your own like we are. We're gonna go explore, Ollie. Got an adventure, Ollie! Got a donkey just hanging out. So this is called Wadi Shab. We hopefully have got here before anyone else has, but I'm not sure how many tourists are going to be. We'll definitely see some people going about their working business. Oh. We're following this man. We're following the man. We're going on a... Going on a... Going on a... On a catch a big one. We're going on a pool hunt. We spotted our first little glimpses of water. Getting here early is definitely paying off because you don't have the sun beaming down on you and makes it nice. We've just spotted some other tourists, so we aren't the first ones here. Someone else has beat us. Someone's little house. Gorgeous. Doing a lot of work here. I think they're pumping the water down to the very front. <laughs> Thank you. It must have taken so long to get all that stuff up here. Look at the colour of that water. How deep is it? <laughs> it's deep enough. Deep enough. Deep enough to jump. Wow. So we're about 20% of the way in. We're going to continue going and see if we can find a lower bit for Ollie. Look how clear that water is. Hmm? It's just so clear. Yeah. So he's got to walk along all the rocks, which is actually okay. It's, uh, and there's quite a few man made paths, so it's not too bad. It doesn't feel scary or too dangerous or anything. Wow, we've got a haze. Do you want to get the shoes off? Do you want to paddle through? Yeah. 
Have you seen all the bugs swimming in the water? I don't know. I think Joe had an idea of what it was going to be like coming in, but I didn't look this up and I just heard him talking about it. I just thought we'd be wading through water from the start, but wow. uh, it's pretty wow. cool. It's amazing. We've just taken a wrong turn and uh, this guy and his tour group have been really kind and helping us around the boulders because we we're hitting a dead end, just had to cross a little river. And, uh, oh well, yeah, across here. Yeah, Definitely bring coral shoes. Oh, uh, yeah. Guess what? What? I won't say. Mommy, there's fish in here. Is there? Are we getting deeper? How beautiful is it? So I have can you, improvised. Can you feel well, what? My thumb's on. And that's my. Okay. I want to feel them. Do you? Yeah. <laughs> Can you feel any fish between you yet? Can we stay here forever and ever? Sure, that's what you want to do. Yeah. I wouldn't want to touch my feet. <laughs> Alright, we're going the last leg now, which is wading stroke swimming. Swimming! <laughs> Hi Daddy! Hello! <laughs> Hi Mommy! Hi, you having fun? I'm swimming to you and cuddling you. Hi! Come yeah. to me. We're going just to the other side, okay? <sighs> so let's swim over this side. Why? And then I can stand over there. I think people are standing up. Oh. There we go, there's a rock there. Oh, we made it! Hi Mommy! Hi! Let's go find this cave. Are you having a good time? Hi, Yummy. Do you want to paddle? I sure do. Be proud of you, Ollie. You just swam all the way through that ravine. Well done. Then we've got a little bit more walking. How cool is this? Definitely wear shoes. Keep swimming! Well done, Ollie. <laughs> Here is our destination. There's a swimming pool just over the top, and we can go through a cave. It's beautiful. Hi. on the bottom here. Ah, okay. I'm coming back. I'm sliding down literally. Okay, hold on. I'm going to have to try and Jump swim up, backwards. <laughs> All right. Oh, no. <laughs> See, <laughs> it's very slippery. <laughs> very. Uh, now going on a solo mission. Probably a bit too much for Oliver there. This one. I'm going to head up to the cave. To reach the main cave, you do have to squeeze through this small entrance and put your head underwater a little bit. We felt that it was probably a good idea that Joe headed in on his own and I hung back with Oliver, as you can't touch the bottom in there and we thought it could be a little bit too much for him. Okay. So at one point your head doesn't go through. I'm glad we didn't take Ollie here. You've got to dunk your head under. I mean, as his head probably okay, but one, two, three. It's nice, natural hand ledge. That looks beautiful. If you are on a tour, they offer you life jackets. So you don't have to worry if you do want to go to the end and you aren't the strongest of swimmers. Where were we? We were standing over here. Do you want to show Daddy? Okay, you ready? Guys, show Daddy the game. We play hide and seek. Hide and seek. Yeah. Oh, 
can't get that to Okay, ready? There we go. Anyone coming? <laughs> <laughs> that was really good fun and it's time to head back now. The hike in was around 40 minutes and I'd say it probably was maybe 15 to 20 minutes to reach the end. As we began to make our way back, all of the tour groups were heading in. It was super, super busy. So if you'd like to beat the crowds, we highly recommend staying nearby and just doing it yourself. Wow, it's getting busy now, isn't it? Yeah. Wow, well, how was that, Nonny? That was amazing. I was a bit nervous at the start going up, especially with Ollie, I'm not gonna lie. Since he's only little and it's a lot of, it's a bit of deep water, but Ollie, yeah, he did it. Did you swim? Did you splash daddy? The sarong is a very good idea, isn't it? So then you can wear your bikini bottoms. Yeah, dry off. And dry off on the way. You still stay respectful. You right? Yeah. Everyone okay? Yeah. yeah. Whoa, I nearly just did the same thing. Huh. <laughs> Didn't learn, did I? So many people coming in now. All the tourists coming in. So the path here is fairly safe, um, just a bit slippy, so we've had a few slips. Always wear good shoes. You can see a bit of a drop. If you don't like heights, then maybe not the place for you, but it's good, it's safe. Wow, what an experience. Uh, the wadi is beautiful. Just hear someone shouting and echoing. The water is beautiful. The walk is incredible. The swimming's great. It's super clean, super adventurous. You can just go with a three-year-old, I'd say. Any younger, no. Yeah. Ollie's a quite experienced adventurer now, though. So he was good. It was really good, actually. Ollie was running and climbing and swimming with his floaties. It was really awesome. Just need um, some sort of life jacket or floaties or something for the little ones. Um, even if they're okay at swimming, I'd still suggest a, a life jacket because there's no uh, kind of way to grab a side or an edge. Yeah, amazing. back in dry land. Tegan's made friends everywhere. <laughs> now look at the car park. Very busy now. We just saw lines and lines of tourists get in here for 11 o'clock. Don't be that tourist. He's going to be sharing it with hundreds of people. Get here as early as you can. Thank you for watching. We hope you enjoyed our road trip around Daman. We absolutely loved it and the people we met were amazing and this country is just so, so beautiful. We highly recommend visiting Oman.